All right, well, today I'll be showing you how to get a free Taz. If you don't know what the Taz is, it's the double barrel shotgun. Well, I say double barrel because it is exactly that, except it's vertical and you only get two shots. <gasps> I never noticed all the spiders before. That's kind of trippy. Yeah, no thanks. So after you get out of the tutorial area, like I just showed you, you'll be sent to this next area. This is basically the starter tutorial area, I guess. It, it's kind of weird. So the tutorial, the place we just left, will give us a basic understanding of how to play the game. This next part will help you sharpen those skills, if you will. Let's go ahead and open up my inventory and equip everything that I'm going to need. Definitely gonna need that. Alrighty then. Go ahead and start off by making some food. Go ahead and cook it up. And see, this is also the starter area. Because you can also see up here in the corner this icon, PvP. Beforehand, I actually remember playing it before they implemented this no PvP zone where everybody was just killing everybody in this starting area. Like, yeah, you could get to a certain point, like, past this whole area here, that then you could start killing other players, but for whatever reason, I guess, they ended up changing it out. So, this is basically the starting map that we want. This is where we can get the free shotgun, so to do so, we'll want to go here. We want to talk to the flower guy. His name escapes me, but I'll show you where to go to. I'll show you where to go to get everything done. Let's go ahead and turn my auto run on. new character to show everybody else how to get the Taz. I've been kind of mentioning, mentioning it on the forums on Steam, but this will help further the point. Okay, I've been running, or walking for too long. Okay, Let's see, this is the watering hole that I was telling you about. Might as well show you. See? Brilliant. A thousand points of thirst removed. Alright, so basically what all that did was give me missions. This one here.
Alright, so basically once we've done all of that, and spoken with him, he'll give you a few missions, and one of them, one of the main ones, will be to take you out towards here to find a abandoned house that supposedly has the stalker guide who basically left us for dead before we got into this area. Now, starting off, the main story of the game is to basically find out why. Why did he do that to us, I guess. Once you get out of that area, it kind of changes a little bit, so bear with me. So collecting all of these flowers, like what ones I just did, you can trade those for ammo for the starting gun that we have, the revolver, this one here. If we collect flowers, we can trade it to the guy that we just spoke to to get this mission, and he'll give, a, give us ammunition for it. Once you talk to him, he'll basically tell you that there's an old guy by the name that you're looking for, but it's also not the guy you're looking for. There's probably a story involved that'll explain that better. I just haven't gotten that far into the game to find out what it is. So once we talk to the stalker in the old abandoned house, we want to run back to the flower guy and talk to him. you wasting all of your ammo but at the same time if you can grind out collecting all the flowers and whatnot to purchase a ton of ammo I really don't see why not go ham purchase a ton of ammo and then just waste it all in the starting area get some experience going level your character up this area is going to be one of the greatest spots for you to do that at, especially this early on. So that right there, what we just did, how, how did you get into the warehouse? You want to ask that question specifically. And then he'll respond in kind with this. And he'll give you the key to the sewer hatch. All right, now, hopefully, I may have ran through this a little too quickly, to be honest with you, but um, hopefully now that we have the key to get inside of the uh, water tower over here, this will lead us to the warehouse. 
and inside the warehouse I don't know if there's something special you have to do or not just get inside here or what have you but in here you can find the Taz this is where you can find the shotgun early on for free you just have to go and look look for the loot spots sometimes there was going to be like a black plastic bag right there look for it if not scan the shelves look for little boxes or crates mouse over things if it highlights chances are you can pillage from it see like this weapon crate found the taz just like that now for extra good measure continue searching like here right here there's going to be a, a locker open that up sometimes it'll spawn sometimes it won't there's also going to be a car battery I believe that will also spawn here that's for another mission that you can do in here if you choose to use the uh, broken down truck to get out of this area but that's a whole nother thing that I'll go over later. I might make another video for it. Uh, let me know in the comments be below if you want me to do it or not. I will do an entire tutorial video of how to do everything in this starting area if you guys ask for it. I've already put in almost a hundred hours of gameplay into this. I'm really enjoying it. So if you guys want to see more, let me know. Go ahead and equip that and see. Taz, a double barrel shotgun. Double barrels right there. It's amazing. Oh, and for some of you that don't know this already, if you open up the chat, hit forward slash, and then type this command in, with the space and hit enter we can now play the game in first person now you'll notice there's a warning it basically means that this is an experimental feature and it doesn't quite work all the time but if you're in close quarters areas and you're just doing a quick loot it works beautifully So now that we've got the Taz, we can go back, and I believe he gives us ammo. I don't remember. I think they, I think you actually have to go to the train station to get ammo for the Taz. I've actually got some radiation damage going. I should probably use an anti-rad. See, and now my radiation is going down. Yeah, see, the flower guy will just give you ammo for the for the handgun that you have. If you want actual ammo for the Taz itself, pretty sure we're going to have to go over here to get it. usually find items to pillage here as well. Let's go ahead and get out of this first person. It's nice and all, but I like to see. Especially if other players are following me from behind. Should 
probably get up on the road and <laughs> load my gun. Oh, so here's a cool feature, if you didn't know this. Again, we'll go into first person. Take out our weapon. Hide the UI just to make it easier. And we'll reload our weapon. How cool is that? Once we get the, um, once we get to the station, the train station, we'll be going over in that area to do some hunting for anomalies. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> but yeah, if you, um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and ring the do the the do the bell if you want to see more. I think that'll be about it for the Taz video. Like I said earlier, if you want to see me do more content of Stalker Online, or Stay Out as it's known on Steam, definitely let me know in the comments below. I will definitely see you guys later. Alright, so earlier I was running down this road and I never actually showed you where to go to get ammo for the Taz. Well, if you remember earlier, I had marked the map over here to this area. In fact, it should still be marked, yeah. So, if we continue... I love when that happens. If we continue up here... To this guy here... He will sell you ammo for the Taz. Just ask him to trade, and if you have the money, which you should... You can easily buy ammo for the Taz. Just like that. I'm actually going to purchase a few more. Seven should be about right. Yes, sir.